Hi, Brentech here, where tech is made simple. So Chrome version 143 has been released, which was made available late yesterday in my region. And as always, to double check, we have this latest version upgrade. We head to our main menu, Help, About Google Chrome. And after the update has been applied, version and build is sitting on 143.0.7499.40 or .41, either or running Linux, Windows or Mac means your Chrome web browser is fully patched and up to date on version 143. Now, this is quite a light release. But first of all, focusing on the security fixes that have rolled out. And there are 13 security fixes that have been made available with version 143. And these will also be our weekly Chromium security fixes. So we can expect the other Chromium based web browsers to get more or less the same security fixes rolling out as well. And out of the 13 security fixes, four fixes are addressing high severity vulnerabilities. So that means there's no critical vulnerabilities that need to be patched and there are no zero days, which is always good news. And the four high severities are listed as type confusion in the V8 JavaScript engine, inappropriate implementation in Google Updata, inappropriate implementation in DevTools, and use after free in digital credentials. So those are common exploits. So 13 security fixes have rolled out in total. Now focusing on what's new, and most of the changes are taking place under the hood, but just a quick overview if you are finding yourself running the Chrome web browser. Now for the first new improvement, we head to our privacy and security. Click on security. And if you are using enhanced protection, which I always suggest you use in Google Chrome, enhanced protection has been improved now against scams using an on-device large language model, LLM. If you have enhanced safe browsing turned on, the default is standard, but I always suggest enhanced. So that's a bit of a security improvement, which I think is a nice move. And then the security architecture has been improved with the implementation of origin keyed process isolation for a more granular and robust security boundary between websites, says Google from the Chrome platform status. And origin keyed process, in case you're unaware, a quick overview as to what that is all about, is it's a security feature in web browsers that isolates content from different origins into separate processes, which improve security but can break some web functionality. So that's taking place under the hood and should improve the security and privacy of the browser. And then there is a graphics improvement where improvements have been made to the web GPU APR. So that's taking place under the hood. And then Gemini in Chrome is becoming more widely available in regards to AR with the integration of Gemini AR features expanding with agentic capabilities being introduced for a lot more users. So as you can see, we've got AR mode in the Omnibox. We've got AR mode in the Google search box. And if you are in a corporate and enterprise environment with a Gemini subscription, then Gemini AR is further rolling out in the actual browser and becoming more widely available. So lots of AR now being pushed into Google Chrome. Like it or not, that's the way it seems that Google is wanting to go with the browser, as is the same with Microsoft Edge. And with all that out of the way, I am not noticing any UI tweaks and adjustments that I can see at this stage that might change, but I don't see any front-facing features that the update has introduced upgrading to version 143. And I know you're going to be asking the question. And yes, the workaround to enable MV2 extensions and uBlock Origin still works after upgrading to version 143. So if we click on developer mode, we enable that and we click on uBlock Origin, we can see that the extension is still working in version 143. And I'll leave the video I posted when version 142 rolled out, how you can enable MV2 extensions and uBlock Origin. In case you're unaware, I'll leave that link down below and in the end screen because it still works with version 143, 
which I think is good news. And I see a lot of comments on the channel saying almost on a daily basis that the workaround doesn't work anymore and so on and so forth. And yes, it does. What I suggest if you have developer mode turned on and you still cannot enable uBlock Origin after applying the workaround is restart your device. And there's a good chance then it will start working again. And I've also made a Q&A video on possible reasons why it's not working and things you can try out. I'll also leave that link down below and in the end screen. But uBlock Origin and MV2 extensions are still working with the upgrade to version 143. And guys, that's more or less what's new in this latest release. Quite a light release. Most of the implementation is taking place under the hood in regards to security and privacy. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.